What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Summertime Fine. It's your boy, Chicago Realist. And we back with the record pool. So today, you know, if y'all ain't heard, I'm gonna let Chicago Realist give y'all the rundown, but oh, yeah, it's what? really, really petty. Right. Know? So, I mean, so what happened was Danny Lay was gonna be on Wild and Out, you know what I'm saying? You know, Nick Cannon's show. And um, she requested that B. Simone get removed from that episode because, you know, I guess they uh, B. Simone made a diss song about her recently, and um, you know she was. I think she was messing with the baby. She said she saw some text messages. What you feel about that? I mean, I feel like. <clears throat> well, I let you go. You, you, no, I just. I mean, think, I mean, you think it's I wrong, feel like it's, it's just petty? really petty. I feel like when when you because this is the thing. Who petty? Did uh, uh, the baby ex girl. And oh, so you think Danny Lay Petty for Danny one Lay of these off the episode? Yeah, because I feel like this, you're going to have to work with people that you don't want to work with. And people that probably, like, uh, I don't want to say Sherry Shepard, but it was somebody out there that was asking, um, I believe it was Sherry Shepard, but it was just asking, like, why she wasn't one of the original queens of, Holly, uh, original queens of comedy. And she had the opportunity to be. She don't know, she didn't know that, you know, well, she found out on a three-way call or whatever, but they was quiet, you know what I'm saying? But they was talking stuff about her, you know what I'm saying? But still... She was still, she still been around them in the industry, or whatever. They ain't never had no, you know, run ins and no beef, or whatever the case may be. And that's the thing. It's like you're going to have to work with people that you not, you know, per se going to want to work with. You're going to have to work with people that, you know, or, or be around people that you may not want to be around. So, you know, with that being said, or whatever, you, you just got to, like, to, to get the girl kicked off, or whatever, because you don't really like her and all that stuff. I mean, honestly, that says a lot about your character. And, you know, they already got that stigma, you know, out here or whatever about, oh, you know, women being their feelings about working and all this other stuff, whatever. Like, you know, she probably said what she said, and but a lot of things do get twisted, too. So, you know, people delete text messages and make stuff seem like it's other stuff. You just never know. But either way it go, and I'm not saying who right or wrong in a situation. I'm just saying I don't feel like you should have tried to make her, oh, I'm not doing an episode. Well, you know this is a... You know that she's on this show. Why even go on this show then? You right. get what I'm saying? Like that's just my that's just my take on it. I mean, I, I feel you. I you you I, I kind of agree with you. It's just I feel like, um, you know, what I'm saying, if we did have a public beef, you know, and you on the show, I mean, I I, I feel like instead of me getting on the show and perhaps. Some might go left. I should just let it be. No, I don't know if I. I mean, I, I wouldn't do that personally, but I just understand it. Like, cause you know, wilding out, they be talking crazy on there. You know what I'm saying? It's like a battle thing. Yeah. So she might say something that really, that's really real on camera. Just trying to be Simone, just trying to go viral, and that might really hurt Danny Lay. And she might. But you might already know. But that's the thing. They. But everybody that been on, everybody that has been on that show, been through that. Because if you think about the Emmanuel Hudson situation with um, what was that dude? Oh, uh, spoken reasons. That was a real situation. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, get yeah. what I'm saying? But he didn't sit around here and say, "Oh, I'm not gonna but do you, the show, or whatever." If you got Emmanuel Hudson on it, no. And I mean, like he literally exposed some stuff. Now yeah, he, he did, said, "Let's right. be real," and and you know what I'm saying. It got honestly you really, right. really real. No, I saw that. So right. so why is it that you get to come on somebody else's platform and dictate? That's like me. That's like me having an artist or or interviewing an artist, or whatever. Oh, I don't want him on there with me. Mm -hmm. Like. Well then you don't have to be here You know what I'm saying Like you You don't I don't think it's cool For you to come I mean And maybe I'm being A little biased Because It's like You know I see I, I can I can picture myself In those shoes Like yeah I want to do the interview With him I don't want to do it with her Like You don't get to pick and choose Okay well then You're just not going to do it That's that's the end of the story And that's That's like How you going to come This is her home turf this is this is what B Simone been on for the last year to however long, and then you want to sit around here. You knew that she was on this though. It wasn't no surprise. Yeah, it, yeah, she's an original member. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she's been so on that for a real long time. It's yeah. not. So why do you get to pick so and choose? Do you blame her though, or do you blame Nick? Well, I'm not Nick. You know, it's a whole team, but them for actually even doing it. Because, because 
They could have just said, "No, nah, no, nah, she gonna be on the show because she, she right." Won. And I and I, I definitely you know I blame the, no, I blame the show because I would not be, you know, what I'm saying my producer, whatever. Say, well, they said, "Oh, well, we we got beef for her, but we want to be on our, on y'all platform." Well, then you just won't do it. That's as simple as that. Like, I mean. How do you get to sit around here and like this is my home? Right. I'm not gonna kick. That's like you trying to spend the night at my house and you gonna kick me out of my house. Like that don't make right. sense. But I feel like that's if anything, and I'm not trying to start nothing, but that just goes to show you how how much loyalty lasts when it comes towards you know doing business. You know what I'm saying? Because if you really think about it, like their loyalty should align with B. Simone. Because of the simple fact that that's her home turf. That's who y'all picked to be on here, stay on here. And you know what I'm saying? She got, look, she got podcasts. She got other things she could do. She ain't got to be there filming. And I'm not saying like, oh, you know, the show is what, you know, she makes the show. That's not what I'm saying. But my thing is, is that, you know, as her being an original member, you y'all should have showed that, you know what I'm saying, on you know, and then let her. If Danny Lay wanted to go on a on a rant about, oh, I was gonna be on Wild Now, but they didn't want to take that girl off or whatever. Then cool. At least you saw where your loyalty lied. Mm-hmm. But that just goes to show me you would rather. And and is she not? In my opinion, this is just my opinion. You know, I'm all for women empowerment, and all that, whatever. And she went through some stuff and all that. But I don't. It's other artists out here that would have loved to be in her position. And you gonna sit around here and pick and choose when you want to be on here. Right. Or or who's gonna be on here, you know what I'm saying, from our home turf. You get what I'm saying? Like no, you right. don't run nothing. You right. That's the, and that's what made me feel like you're not running this. Mm-hmm. Like, so for you to sit around here and say, Hey, uh, yeah, I'll do it, but like, gee, and in and, and my opinion, I don't know how long she's been doing music and all that other stuff, whatever, but to me she just got popping. Like, not too long ago, like, you, it literally because of the simple fact that, you know, of course, her and the baby had their run-ins and stuff like that. I mean, she did. She definitely had a little name beforehand as well. Because I'm not saying, I would never say the baby made her. I don't know. Uh, I was that. Say, no, 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 no. She was doing music. She was doing music and stuff before that. But I'm just saying, you know, you like, you in tune with Yellow Beezy. You in tune with, you know, like, a couple people that you got, like, a couple yeah. features with and stuff like that now. But it's like, I don't know why you just feel... You know what I'm saying? Like the world owes like this is a public platform right. that is helping you do justice. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah. you get to add that to your resume. Right. They ain't adding you to theirs, really. I mean, they done had people with Grammys and Grammy nominated stuff and, and I don't think you really been there like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And nor have I. I'm just I'm just this is my opinion. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? I ain't taking away from the girl or nothing, but I just feel like it was wrong for them as a unit, as a platform, as a team to to take that girl off for a temporary time for that episode and to make her feel comfortable because it's million other artists it's million other people that would have killed to be in her seat and if that was the case well then we'll find the next artist then end of story so yeah that was just my take on it I mean I feel you though. I, I mean I agree I, yeah, I definitely don't think uh, they even should have gave her that option or, or she, yeah or they, they said they didn't, they didn't I don't think they gave her the option but she just asked and I just feel like they should have turned that down nah but uh, another thing too, I wanted to talk about was uh, do you you were, are you familiar with DJ Academics? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know your you know journalist blog or whatever. Mm-hmm. He pretty pretty big. You know what I'm saying. I go to him for all my new. He like the shade room. He know everything. But um, he what he did was everybody was kind of mad at Ti and them was mad because he kind of was somewhat disrespecting uh Lil Wayne daughter. What's uh, what's Regine. her name? Regine. Yeah, he's talking about the new guy he she with and how she just kind of Lucci, uh, why well, I feel Lucci went to jail. She kind of just left left him in the dust, like, and he he was he was using he was putting her in a in a he was talking about her in a kind of disrespectful manner. I just feel saying? like he needs to watch it though, because he he's been really like in the blogs a lot. Like, I mean, of course this this what I'm saying. I I don't know like. And I'm, I'm gonna say this respectfully. I don't, I don't really care about none of this, but this is this is why a lot of things, whatever. I don't really even care to comment on because it's just stuff like that. Why are you commenting about somebody else's child? For one, regardless of however you look at her, she grown and all that. That's still Lil Wayne's daughter. 
You give them that's for one. So for you know, if you think that that man ain't gonna clap back or say anything, come on now. I'm well, T, always... yeah, it was T I T I clap. Lil Wayne didn't say nothing on thing, but T I mean, I did, did but, T. I but, but you gotta understand. Now remind you, if you don't if you don't watch this, but Zanique and and Regine grew up together. Um, and T.I. And, and Lil Wayne was tight at one point too okay. And I'm not saying that they fell out or anything But I'm just saying So so and Tiny and Toya is tight too oh. So you gotta understand everybody you messing with yeah, You get what I I'm saying you. And and a comment on something that don't even concern you What does that have to do with you? But look I'm gonna say this like, I'm gonna say this though right Now that's his job to talk about the celebrities and Correct so, so look If you gonna put your business out there then they're able to respond about you able to but, talk why, about. but but listen that's because because look we can't we can't we can't exclude certain people because we like them or favor them well you no, know no. What i'm saying everybody I'm gets do that you know what i'm saying if your relationship remember, is public everybody and and that's fine but remember how you come at stuff yeah yeah that's all i'm saying because your opinion is good cool your opinion is your opinion just like i said with the danny lay stuff whatever like it don't matter what i feel about her it don't matter what i think about her at the end of the day, whatever, that's just how I, you know, what I'm saying. But, you know, you just got done talking about these rappers and how they wasn't nothing and all this other stuff. And then, but see, you run with your tail with your tail between your legs. That's what I'm not in favor of. Because even with that situation, you took the video down. And when you took the video down, you didn't want to, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, so now if they come clapping at you about this, then you're going to sit around and you're going to take the video down again? You get what I'm saying? What's your point of reporting it? Oh, so you saying so, that you backpedal? Okay, right. Okay. You steady backpedaling on this stuff. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? My opinion, look, you know, I actually, I got one of the girl songs downloaded or whatever. I actually like the girl singing, you know what I'm saying? And so I'm well, not, you but Danny Lay or whatever. I'm just saying, oh, like, okay, you know, okay. I'm just saying, I'm being transparent, you know, just as a person. You know, I, I study, I like her music, whatever. And I'm not going to take back what I said. I mean, yeah, I feel like it was still petty. But, you know, it's the same matter with it, when it comes to Regine and this stuff, whatever. You know, that's her business. It's, first of all, the only reason why everybody's saying what they're saying. It's a million and one girls that's doing the same thing she's doing. It's just that her stuff is public. And that's all that's the difference. Do you feel like, I mean, do you agree with what he said as but far as she just kind of left think, him in the dust? I don't think she left him in the dust. Let me tell you why. Because another thing is, you got to understand something. You don't know what... You don't know what she been through with him. And everybody think they know something because of what's been put on social media. Stop being fooled. You don't know what's really going on. I done seen, come on now, rappers talk about they got this this car and that car. Whole time, they ain't got nothing. They ain't got a damn to their name. They ain't got nothing. And that's not to take a shot. That's the truth. Right. They really don't have it. But, I mean, they talking about it like they got it and all this, or whatever. I'll pull it on you and... The Lord knows that you the weakest one in your whole crew and your whole setup that ain't going to do nothing. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like it's just tons of talk. And that's what's wrong with a lot of things in this in this culture. And a lot of that's why a lot of people don't respect a lot of things that come from certain people. Because, you know, you talking about this girl, whatever. Yeah. All right. Cool. She got it. I don't feel like you never know what she went through with Lucci. And I'm going to be real. She did go through some stuff publicly. Like, you know what I'm saying? They were saying that she that he was cheating on her and doing this at the clubs and all this other stuff, trying to bring up stuff and all this. You know what I'm saying? This girl been Oh, so it wasn't just because so, he went to jail. It wasn't been, just. Oh, uh, okay, okay. You got, I, I ain't talking about just, because honestly, she wasn't dating when, um, well, I ain't going to, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And don't nobody know. How long, I mean, clearly the man ain't getting out no time soon. Let's get real. Yeah. At the end of the day, you want me to hold you down. And be real with you. And when you when you was out here embarrassing me, you wasn't holding me down right. when you could have been. So now I'm wrong. I'm I mean, like, you know what nah, I mean? Nah, nah, nah. I, don't, I mean, like, you know, just me, that would be wrong. No, nah, I don't think it's wrong. I mean, if if we if we was already um going through mishaps before I went to jail. Then nah nah nah. If you leave, you know what I'm saying? See what how, how academics was putting it was like he went. He went to prison. You know what I'm saying. And and, and we don't, they don't know when he getting out. So she just skedaddled and went to the next dude. But that ain't really what. That ain't really how it happened. So. But and even if but even if that was the case, she know that it's going. It ain't no telling. You know what I'm saying. And that was her decision. You get what I'm saying. And why is it that she need to put her life on pause? Because the simple fact. I mean, be, in my opinion, this is just me. You know what I'm saying. I'm trying to think about how I want to say this because I want to say it right. But. 
I don't feel as though she tried to do any harm mm. and try to, you know what I'm saying? I feel like she didn't held him down a while and a long time with being embarrassed. Let's yeah. let's remember that. Even her own mama wasn't really a big fan of him. Let's, right, facts. Let, and her and her mama is tight. Right. So, so I went against all my, I've been, been going against all these people, whatever, and to get embarrassed, let's remember this, mm. and, and ridiculed and talked about and, oh, she goofy for being with him and all this other stuff. And now I'm holding you down. And now you down, and now I'm sitting around here, you know. I'm, and now, I'm, now, now all of a sudden, she, she the, she the wrong one. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now that he's the victim, she wrong. You get what I'm like? That's it's lame. That that should have never been. I don't feel like you. And then on top of that, you don't know everything. You only know what people put on social media. G. Everything is not. Please, please, please. And 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 that's another thing. Kids, all of that. Like I want y'all to really understand. The life that these celebrities show you, whatever, a lot of them, uh, it was one, it was one artist. I can't remember. He, it was an older artist and they were saying, you know, social media isn't everything because they will get on social media and act like that everything all cool and everything is good to go. And all honesty, they are really broke. Right. They don't have a dime to their name. Like, uh, for instance, TLC. They let y'all know publicly. Everybody thought they was good. Everybody yeah. thought they had it. Everybody thought they was checking a bag. You know what I'm saying? At that time, they they got the clothes and the outfits and all that. No, all I, they they let y'all know with them Grammys and them nice old clothes that probably cost a thousand dollars a fit. As a group, we are dead broke. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't be fooled by what social media is telling you and what these people are telling you and what a lot of these people, they sit around here, you, they, they out here, like mental health is real. People out here killing themselves. You think it ain't good. They was just smiling on social media, outside, kicking and having a good time. And now all of a sudden they, you know what I'm saying? Then you hear about them taking their life or uh, was about to commit suicide or something like that. Wow. How is that possible? Because y'all think too much on what y'all see you don't know what that and, and i'm just saying this is the surface things that we saw about regina you don't know what that girl really been through you know what i'm saying with that man you know you don't know if he was beating on her. and i'm not saying that that's what happened and I, um but you don't know what happened you don't know what happened in between a relationship right you don't know how many allegations that that really had just never hit the fan and he probably paid off before it got to the to the blogs and stuff mm -hmm. you don't know that you don't know if he sat around here and had another child on her you don't know how many times he really had sex with another woman and tried to play her you get what i'm saying so it's like you really don't know so to sit around here look just be happy for the girl she moved on she happy you know what i'm saying he fighting his case more power to you but lessons and hope all is well and you know and i hope you beat what you got it going on and take care of your business end of story you know what i'm saying you could have yeah. just left as simple as that reporting something and commenting on something is two different things <laughs>